हेलो गाइस आज एक और रिएक्शन वीडियो में शामिल कहते हैं अच्छा जी आज जो है एक अनबॉक्सिंग वीडियो है तो स्टार्ट करते हैं वायरलेस कीबोर्ड और वायरलेट माउस What are you doing? I'm playing Fortnite. Fortnite. It's 2021. No one's playing Fortnite anymore. What do you mean? A lot of people play Fortnite. You got your pals in there in Fortnite? Do I have a pal? Of course I do. Do you think it's time to I don't know try a new game? Maybe a game on a PC instead of this 20-inch iMac over here? Uh, you know, I don't really play too game many games. Maker. This is just more casual. Casual? Yeah. Do you think there's anything casual about working at Unbox Therapy? <laughs> Do you know the type of gaming equipment we have here? Keyboards, gaming mice, gaming PCs with RGB and monitors that are bigger than 20 inches. I just play for casual. You know? Let me configure a setup for okay, you that just fits in a little bit better here. Given the type of equipment we have access to. RTX, you ever heard of RTX? Yeah, I've heard of it. You ever heard of 240 hertz? No, this is fine. I mean, the keyboard, it's a, not a lot of key travel there. No. But it's fine. The mouse it doesn't have dedicated left and right button. Your hand is in pain right now. Well, it's light. Your your, your aim is terrible right now. No, this is fine. I mean, what's this? This, what is this? Uh that's that's mine. Don't we don't talk about that. Hampton card. This is the Samsung Odyssey Mia G9. This is a 49 inch gaming monitor, ultra wide. Quantum matrix technology, quantum mini LED. How many quantums you got? I got none. 1000R curved screen. Do you understand immersion, sir? Not yet. Sir! This is the Odyssey Neo, ultra wide, obviously, and a tremendously aggressive curve. This is going to be perfect for Willy Doo's gaming experience. <laughs> Look at the immersion as you sit sort of in this cockpit, over 5,000 pixels across up to 240 hertz. These are the possibilities with Windows-based gaming. Of course, we have our mechanical keyboard of choice and a gaming mouse to go with it. It's almost as nice to look at from the back as it is from the front. They've gone with this Stormtrooper look, black and white contrast. Obviously, you can also see the RGB that they've worked in, and it's not just like a simple strip, but if you look at it closely, it almost seems to go on infinitely in there. It looks like a void on the inside. It's a nice implementation.
probably also noticed a headset hanging on the back. There's this little gaming headset or headphone hanger and it locks up out of the way when it's not in use and you simply pull down on it and it flicks out and then you can stick your headset right there conveniently keep things tidy. Something that a lot of large monitors don't have is adjustability. This one very smoothly moves from a low position to a high position. It can also surprisingly pivot reasonably well and it has some tilt also. So big monitor, but some flexibility on there. They've thought about cable management. You may have a number of inputs going into the monitor. So the monitor does have a hub so your peripherals can plug directly into it. The way that this cable management works is through this back channel. This piece pops off and again, it's really smooth to do. And then you're able to run your various cables through this section, which of course includes your keyboard, mouse, whatever you wanna uh, plug directly into the monitor. As far as inputs and outputs are concerned, we have two USB-A ports over here. Of course, we also have the USB cable going back to the PC in order to operate the hub. Here is an 8K capable display port cable plugged into the display port. And this was included in the package, as I mentioned. You have one, two more HDMIs, and then you've also got an analog audio port for your wired headset if you use one. Over on this other side here, we have our connection for power, and there's no external power brick, so everything is built in. So all you'll have coming out of the monitor is simply a typical power cable. And then you've also got this plate here, and this just clips onto the back to cover up your cable management once you've got everything installed. Now, of course, with this new model, you also have the advantages of mini LED. Now, we're all aware of the pros and cons with mini LED. Uh, for myself personally, I think the trade-offs are worth it. I've seen it in TV tech. I've seen it on tablets, now seeing it in ultra wide format. I think most people are gonna be able to appreciate some of those advantages with mini LED. Now, I think we can probably agree that if uh, you're into gaming, if gaming is a part of your life, then this particular implementation is far superior to the one that Willie Doo was trying to pull off earlier in this video. We have 49 inches of gaming pleasure as opposed to his, uh, what was he using, 21.5 or something like that. We have RTX graphics, 29. we have a mechanic keyboard, we have a gaming mouse. Uh, I think he's gonna be pleasantly surprised. I mean, 49 inches, you gotta admit, it's making some kind of difference for you. You know what? I can get used to this. This has gotta be a better place to game. I mean, the immersion, the comfort level, 240 hertz. I think I'm getting a lot more kills. You've got flexibility with the ultra wide. You can split the screens, do the game streaming, get the OBS, the gaming on one side. Mm -hmm. And now that you're on the PC side, you have the latest titles, way more selection, all the peripherals. No, this is great. You see, these are the benefits of working at Unbox Therapy. We have access to all the greatest stuff. Man, you were so right. They call that a 1000R screen. It's literally curving around you. Yeah, I was shot. DisplayPort is pretty good. Quick shout out to Drake for the 300 subs. I appreciate that. Dude. You just passed 30 million followers. You're the number one most popular game streamer in the world. Bye.